to go on the last year. That's it. Yeah. This is the dress. Do you like it? We've got to hurry. Everyone's going. There's only two left in my size. Come on, Dad. Let's go. When do I meet him? His name's Chappie. On the football Chappie? team in very... Chappie. You'll meet when he picks me up for the dance. Not before. Dad, you really need to go faster. Will he drive you to the dance? He's rented a limo. So he won't drive you? Limos come with drivers. So stop worrying. It's a nice dress. You'll be very pretty. I want you to like it. Out. No, no, no. Wait until I park. Everyone's already inside. Van, careful crossing the street. Metro Desky and Wood. Listen carefully. An action wing of the authentic UDI has just exploded a bomb at the OBT Bank at Knightsbridge. The covert is Phoenix. Britain's banks are now targets for the authentic UDI. The bombings will continue as long as Britain's financial criminal institutions persist in their support of the illegal occupation of Northern Ireland. Bomb just went off. An OBT bank in Knightsbridge. Group called the Authentic UDI just found it in their claiming credit. Christ. There goes the peace accord right back in the shit.
exactly 4.15 GMT in Knightsbridge. One theory on the cause of the blast was that it may have been a gas main explosion on the ground. How many? How many I get? 12 dead so far. Three times as many injured. ...centred at the OBT bank branch in Knightsbridge. There was no warning and police were taken completely... Fuck warnings. That'll teach them. Any problems? No. We should be moving. That's normal procedure. Every cop, hotel and landlady in London is now looking for the Irishman. This place is safe. So long as we stay put. of government property. Absolutely. <laughs> Too bad. What's the time? Almost it. Mm. Ten more minutes. Mm. Yeah. I'll miss my flight. Let's stay here. Door locked. <laughs> Blinds down. Room service for a week. Mm -hmm. Sound good. And your work, Deputy Minister? An acute case of food poisoning. <laughs> you need to work on your excuses, darling. Bombing in London, scores dead and injured. Yes. Jesus, Liam, half the world's trying to find you. Do you even know what's happened? Yes, yes, yes I heard. I've been trying you for hours. Where have you been? Meetings. Meetings? And last night? You didn't come home. I was worried. The guest room wasn't slept in. Who said I slept? Oh, God, the crap, Liam. You didn't come home, plain and simple. Then what if I did? Look, I've got a lot to deal with, okay? So don't wait up and don't be worried. Sunday is the 20th anniversary of my brother's death. St. Mary's is dedicating a mass to him, so... I'll have Beth put it in the calendar, okay? We'll talk later. And the need for swift action. But until we can identify the threat, there's not much we can do. Well, you have your finger on the pulse over there, Liam. We're depending on you. 
Anything you can provide, anything at all, would be a tremendous help. I'm meeting the council now. I'll shake the trees as hard as I can and see what falls. But there are new upstarts in the ranks, pressing for the way things were. I could use something now. And you know what I'm referring to. The royal pardons. I remember your list, the 40 on the runs. Are we really back to that? My cousin's on that list. He hasn't even been convicted of any paramilitary offences. These people are suspects in many things, including murder. These people are critical to holding the peace together now. A few letters of pardon would be a small gesture. We keep it quiet. But knowing it's been considered gives me leeway to press certain men for something in return. As Irish Deputy Minister, you have served the British government honourably, which hasn't always been easy, but appeasement is a dangerous thing. These are long-standing issues. That if addressed now would smack of appeasement. I need something, Kate. The new members haven't lived the bloodshed and are easily swayed. I'm trying to hold this together. A gesture is all. It would make a difference. I'll consider it. But I want something first. Something real. Understood. Hello? We're closed. We all pay at 12. Uh, we're looking for the owner, uh, Mr. Quinn Mine. Quinn. Upstairs. They were found on site, not far from your daughter's body. Can you positively identify them as hers? Who did this? As of now, sir, we don't know, but we're going to find out. Why my daughter? Is there someone we can call to come and be with you, Mr. Kwan? I have no more family. These bonus, will you catch them? Yes. Will they get punished? Yes, they certainly will. We'll let ourselves out. Oh, good morning, Hugh. Thanks for coming. It's been a long time, Liam. It's been a long time indeed. Come, take a chair there. All right, Hugh. Now that we're all here, does anyone know who this authentic UDI is? Are they even part of the UDI? Some new upstarts or something else entirely? Hmm? They're trying to undermine everything we've achieved over the last 19 years. Well, I won't have it. They don't have the support of the people who said no to the violence. Our mandate's to uphold that choice and maintain the peace accord no matter what. Are we in agreement? There's a lot of support for their actions amongst the younger ranks. Hardheads. Hotheads who don't remember or know any better. You were once one of those hotheads, Liam. Aye. Long ago, when it was the only way. And what did it give us? More graves than I care to remember. This bombing rivals Oma with its civilian deaths. It's unacceptable. Anytime. Anywhere. And do you think the bombers come from our ranks? The Brits ID the explosive. Check made some picks from our dumps. They also used our code word, which means they have a contact in our command. Maybe someone in this room. They're trying to divide us. Put the Brits back on the streets again, stir up the troubles all over again. Well, I won't have it. I want a complete check of all the arms dumps, here and abroad, everything verified. Guns, Samtex, the whole fucking lot. Jesus, you can't be serious. Never been more so patty. We check them, and if something's missing, we trace it back to those who knew the location. And then we deal with this internally. 
I want a complete list of all the stocks within the week, along with their locations and everyone who knows where they are, and no fucking exceptions. Shelby. We backtracked 47 minutes. Clearly anticipated the CCTV. He circled London for quite some time prior to the bombing. Now, this is the first CC feed we have on him. Heading southbound on the A413 near Wendover at 10.53 a.m. We retrieved the serial number from the bike's frame. It was reported stolen in Reading the night before. The license plates were also stolen from another bike in Reading. What about phone calls? Assuming that the bomb was phone activated, we've dumped the five closest towers to the blast zone, so trying to ID any call terminating at the time of the incident. Excuse me. Yep. For you. Romley. He's here again, sir. The Chinese man? What? The Chinaman. It's five days on a row now. Christ, tell him I'm busy. I did. I think he said he'd wait. Again. I assure you. This investigation is our top priority, Mr. Kwan. And we're doing all we can on pursuing every possible lead to find those who killed your daughter. But there are difficult people to catch. And it may take some time. I need you to understand that. You must catch this man, Commander Bromley. Again, it's our top priority. £20,000. All I have for the names of the bombers. To be clear, these are vicious men who take pride in their atrocities. Any attempt by you to contact them is likely to end very badly. This is our work, not yours. You need to be patient. How long have you been in this country, Mr. Kwan? Since 1984, I'm a British citizen. You were born in Guangxi, China. Yes, I'm Chinese. I live in Ho Chi Minh after the war. We escaped to Singapore. Then we immigrated here. You had two daughters before Fan. Both killed during the escape. And your wife? Where is she now? She died, giving a birth to Fan. I'm truly sorry for your loss. But you mustn't keep coming here on a daily basis. It doesn't help. And diverts time and resources from my investigation. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Thank you for seeing me, Commander Bromley. After three weeks of investigations, there's little in the way of solid leads that I'm aware of. The public is looking for reassurance. One leading politician, who some believe may have answers, lies uncomfortably at the center of this storm. We go now to an interview I recorded earlier in Belfast with Deputy Minister Liam Hennessy. Deputy Minister Hennessy, you publicly condemned the violence. What's the essential difference between those acts you were involved in then and what's happened in London recently? Hope? We heard none. Just years of vengeance? I believe the men behind this terrible act never experienced firsthand the troubles. And for some, they are more than happy to resort to violence to upset the steers quo. Prepared for your signature? They absolutely must be signed now. Uh, what's the latest reaction on social media? The same as before. Fear and anger. Anger directed at who? From the Prime Minister on down. CNN and the Irish Times want interviews with you. You can do tonight or tomorrow morning at 8. Uh, tomorrow morning by phone. What else? You have a call waiting online too. Waiting? For 30 minutes now. 
And Mr. Kwan from London, very insistent. What does he want? His daughter was killed in the bombing. I tried my best to console him, but he really just wants to speak to you. Saw you on TV. Oh, Christ, Beth. Civic duty. Take it and be done. <clears throat> this is Liam Hennessy. How may I help you? What on earth makes you think I know who killed your daughter? Because you are the first deputy minister and advisor to Queen Shea, and a former UDI member. I'm truly sad for your loss, Mr. Kwan. I have a daughter myself, and I condemn these acts of violence, but I can't help you. Then please tell me someone who might know the names of the bombers, someone I can talk to. I don't have any connections to those sorts of people, I'm sorry. I don't believe you, Mr. Hennessy. Well, I work for the government and our elected officials. I do not work for terrorists. Politics and terrorism are different ends of the same snake. Whichever end you grab, you still grab a snake. It makes a great deal of difference which end you grab because one end will bite again. I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Kwan. Good day. Let's
room? These are important documents that we must have today. Yes, I will keep trying the sender because apparently there's nothing else I can do, which I find strange and certainly not the service I've come to expect. Yes, 329174 and for November. You tell your supervisor I'd be calling back. Good day. Yes, may I help you? Please, I would like to speak to Mr. Hennessy. And your name? Lo Ming Guan. You're the one who's been phoning. Yes, I've phoned many times. I'm afraid the deputy minister is busy and won't be able to see you. I will wait. No, you must leave. Let's do as the lady says. He's been phoning up at all hours asking for Liam. He won't take no for an answer. Just groceries. Go now, before we make you. No, I'm wait. Right. The man has been phoning you from London. He's got a knife in him. One of those Swiss Army types. Well, take it off him. Jesus, how much damage can he do with you two around? Let him be. As I explained before, I don't know who the bombers are. I realize you're angry, but there's not much I can do. It's also very dangerous for you to be here. People in Belfast won't take kindly to your accusations. If we do not know who they are, I would like you to please find out. I haven't been affiliated for 30 years. When I was, I fought hard against the violence. I went to prison for what I did and paid my debt. Now I serve the politics of both sides, trying to heal the wounds and bridge the divide. Again, my sincere condolences. But there's nothing I can do. What if your wife and daughter were killed by bomb? I do everything in my power to get justice. So, I've chosen you, Mr. Hennessy. You will tell me who killed my child. Again, I don't know. You will change your mind. Thank you for seeing me. First Minister Hennessy. Sorry, Liam. He took me by surprise. Are you okay, Ben? Okay. You're okay. Take it. Take it. Have the boys check the building. Okay. Would you like a whiskey, Inspector? No, thank you. I suppose it would be a waste of time asking who might have done this. No one comes to mind. Well, it appears to have been nothing more than a warning. Fortunately, it wasn't a serious bomb. If it had been, we wouldn't be here talking, would we? Feel free to reach out, should you have the unexpected urge. I'll feed the press a gas leak story in the meantime. Fair enough. Thanks very much, Inspector. Hello? It's him. You 
come to my office and plant a fucking bomb? Have you changed your mind? Changed my mind? Are you out of your fucking tree? You have no idea who you're dealing with, but you'll soon find out. Give me the names. I'll tell you what, let's meet face to face. We'll settle. The fucking wanker threatened me and hung up. Right, let's check all the hotels and guest houses. It won't be hard to find. Fucking Chinaman. Uncle Liam, what's up? I'll be there. Two sets of wires, ten foot long. Solar to that light bulb and cover will ground up match heads. Gives an extra kick. Not needed, but a nice touch. Crude, effective, and easy to spot. So he wanted us to see it? Well, it wasn't in the tank, so it wouldn't have worked. He just wants you to know he can get to you. Mickey. We found him. A b and in Wellington Park. They found him. Grab him. Drag him out of Belfast. Discourage him from returning. Wait for me, I'm on my way. Hello? I hear your office with the bomb. <laughs> Hardly. It was the toilet in the hall. An Asian man in his 60s with a grudge. It's all been taken care of. Why'd he do it? His child died in the back bombing. He thinks I know who did it. He's not the only one of that mind. So where are we with the pardons? Lots of resistance. But if you give us something useful, things might turn in your favor. I have a lead. I'm pursuing it. Let's hope it bears fruit. People here want heads. The dogs won't stay leashed much longer.
Christ almighty, are you dumb and blind? An old man making fools out of the lot of you and he's still running around out there for God's sake. You are four men. Four? We had him cornered and he jumped off the roof and slid down like some fucking monkey. What is going on? Pack your bag. You're going to the farm. Go on. Get your things. All right, Sean. All right, Pistay. Well, I'm through. He's expecting you. Beat you up. Come on <laughs> in and have a drink, for God's sake. Hello. Oh, look at you. This is the place as well. It's not bad, is it? Mm. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Right? So, so how is New York treating you? Ah, it's cold. Uh huh. Look, Murphy filled me in there. A bloody Chinaman. <laughs> He set off a bomb at my office, put one in my jag, and beat the bejesus out of Mick and Jimmy. Do you want me to handle him? No. That's Kavner's problem. I need your help with the London bombing. Any idea who's behind it yet? Not at all. Well, the Yanks aren't happy, Liam. Mm -hmm. Dead women and kids all over the news. Any fundraising now is impossible. Yeah, this is not about fundraising, Sean. I need you to go to London and meet someone. A Richard Bromley in SO15. SO15? He needs to know the bombings aren't ours and that we're working the problem hard, but we need his help. Why me? You're a decorated ranger in the Royal Irish Regiment. Bromley will respect you as much as he's capable of respecting any of us. Should anyone find out that we're talking to the Brits to go after one of our own, rogue or not, there'll be the devil to be. So can I count on you, Sean, to be discreet? Of course. Really? Forensic evidence on the use of your code word suggests otherwise. It's a renegade unit. We don't know who they are yet. You're telling me there's an active UDI unit on the loose you know nothing about? Yes, I am. And the same text. The rating are dumps. Dumps that were all given up for the accord? And your code word? They're being helped by someone in our command. Belfast or Dublin. So what do you want, Mr. Morrison? We have a plan. Different codes will be given to each member of command. When the bombers claim credit for the next attack, you'll tell us which word they use. And then we'll know who gave the orders and then we end it. Who else is involved in this plan? Liam Hennessy. So you can appreciate the need for discretion. Only Liam knows who'll be given which word. So Hennessy will personally work with us to take out a UDI cell? A rogue cell. Your people nonetheless. I have one condition. 
And as he finds the bombs he tells me directly, then we take them down, not you. This is non-negotiable. We found some plastic bags in this room. Based on what I saw, he's brewed up some nitroglycerin, mixed it with weed killer, packed it into some plastic plumbing pipes. I'm guessing he's made four bombs, each enough to blow up a lorry. Jesus. When he surfaces in Belfast, we'll find him. You'll be safe here. Uh, I wouldn't count on it. When I got
With another warning, Liam? Uh, nothing I can't handle. First Belfast, now here. How in God's name are you handling anything? The problem's been dealt with. He is destroying our farmhouse. Intent on God knows what, and you're calling it a problem? God, you can be so pompous sometimes. I'm leaving for London. I'm going to stay at Kerry's. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Well, I wasn't asking for your permission. He's hardly likely to know about our daughter's flat, and besides, it's you he's after, not me. Well, the point is, if he knows about the farmhouse, I assume he knows about Kerry's flat. It's not worth the risk. Well, then you're just going to have to handle it, like you said. I remember a time when you would have dealt with this properly, and other things too. Those days are gone. Weighs a bit more, but shouldn't be noticeable. All I'm adding is this Amtex, a microchip, and a few inches of wire. It looks good. Tricky part will be getting it through the scanner, but I'll find a way. And if it's turned on? Shorter battery life, but it'll work, no problem. Any idea what's playing yet? No. We'd only had a flight with any Irish on board. One in the Queen's fleet would be best. We just need the right mule. Code word has changed. As of tonight. He said it was a complete twat. Spends as much on a pair of shoes as I get for eight hours writing crap like this. Makes perfect sense. He doesn't like a new pair of sexy shoes. You should try a real whiskey. Two Jameson single malt. Wife attacks husband's transgender lover. Some serious news you're writing there. Well, if it pays, I'll write it. He's been knee deep in a bloody bomb site. So what do you do? Wealth management. I'm Maggie. Ian. All right. I call if we need more. Thanks, Barry. Right, thanks. Six more men are on the way from Belfast. Yeah. When they get here, they will leave the fellas have been up all night. Is it enough to secure the farm? Secure as it can be. It's 20 total working two shifts. All right. You're flying to London today with Mary. Right, Liam. That's completely unnecessary. Get her into Kerry's flat, then move them into a hotel. I can manage this, all right? I'll not be debating this. Nick's going to fill up the jag. You're leaving. Nitro bomb detonated by remote. He needed a line of sight. Those woods, that's where I'd be. Go. Sean! Nick! Get out of mine! Go, go, go!
Jesus Christ! An old man running circles around the lot of us. Why is it so hard? He's ahead of us every step of the way. We need more men. We need a hundred more men at least. And if we did that, we'd have the whole of Belfast against us. Bring in a tracker. Someone who knows the woods. And beat him at his own game. My nephew? Aye. If you can spare him. Bromley, I'll accept his terms. I'll pass it on. I've given out the code words. Now we wait. <sighs> Go on, hit us again. But we shady injured three more men. Ponzi six, if you can believe that. Liam, it sounds like he's trained. Maybe special forces. Which brings me to the point. I need a tracker, Sean. Can you give us a hand? I'll take a morning flight. Sand. Worried. He's got a lot going on. Well, if he doesn't find the bombers, the Accord's dead. And politically, so is he. Do you think he'll find them? Yeah, if there's another blast. The Code Word will lead us to who's running them. He's finished. A Code Word won't save him. He's afraid to use his power. He's just a washed up old man trying to hold on to whatever he can. I've never forgiven him for my brother Patrick. Liam found out who killed him. A UVF death squad. Four men. I told Liam to kill them before they got to court. But he said no. That the time for revenge is past. So my Patrick is dead and buried. And they're sitting in jail now. All four of them taking classes at the Open University. It's not right. It's not.
Hugh McGrath's here. I heard you're checking my dumps. We're checking everyone's. No exceptions. Four came up short, two were yours. Ten kilos of Semtex missing. What in God's name are you doing? My dumps were off limits. We were clear in that, remember? You were at the meeting. If you knew they were short, you should have handled it. They were in perfect order. Checked to myself, and that's a fact. Christ Liam said the committee knows it's my Semtex. Don't know who we can trust anymore, do we? Trust or fear? In your case, mostly fear. Simple and brutal, like my dad taught me. Look, we have an opportunity here, Liam. If you take the lead. This Chinaman isn't helping matters, but let me get some locals to hunt him down. How much do you know? Plenty. Bomb in your office, your farm, your car, marrying your daughter, hiding out in a London hotel, a bloody mess it is, and the men sense weakness, as do the UVF. You should be back in Belfast, out in front, taking charge. Look, I'm no politician. What are you trying to see? The bombing. A few quiet words of encouragement would soothe the ranks. Encouragement? They kill civilians by the buckets. They went a bit far, I know, but they have given us real momentum. The Brits are on the ropes. Jesus Christ, I said hit a few financial targets. That's it. No one gets hurt. That's what we agreed to. You gave me your word. And by God, I kept it. I don't know who they are. Don't even know who's controlling them. And that's the way it has to be. Because if something goes wrong, they could trace them straight back to us. Go wrong? This wasn't the fucking plan. I needed this to get our people back. You and I have spent you our whole didn't lifetime. Give a shit about those men. You needed the bombing to shore up the election, to prop up your weakness in the ranks. Well, guess what? In the fog of war, plans fucking change. Now I stood by you when you put fire into the lads. M62, Aldershot, Mountbatten. You were calling for an escalation then, right? Those now. days are long gone. That's not what I heard. I heard the old Liam, a man back on track with a plan. You haven't forgotten what we're fighting for, have you? You question my loyalty? I buried my brother-in-law. Before that, my dad and my two cousins. We spilt our fair share of blood struggling for a united Ireland, not profiting off a divided one. So don't fucking go asking me again if I've forgotten what we're fighting for. If there's anyone profiteering around here, it's you, sitting in your fancy houses, cozying up to the Brits. You're not the Liam I once knew. You want the old me, huh? The butcher of the bog side, is that what you want? Well then hear this. You reel in those fucking cunts and end it, or by God, I'll bury the lot of yous. Right. I'm going now. I'll be at my farm if you need me. And take care of that committee issue. We don't want them jumping to the wrong conclusion about that Semtex, do we? Do you or any of the men know where Mary's staying in London? No. No one but Murphy. Mm. McGraw knows where she's hiding. I want to know how... <sighs> what a day, Charlie. What a day. Come on now, let's go. Come on, Shirley. Up you get. Shirley.
Dogs are fine. Just slipping. Sit. I will ring a bomb. Anyone comes in, I touch it button, and we die. Now, give me the name. Are they claim to be UDI? But I don't know who they really are. I'm doing everything I can to find out who's responsible. You're lying! Who killed my daughter? I'm sorry. I truly don't know yet. The explosive the bombers use is Semtex H? Yes. Yes. You know about Semtex? I know Semtex H. During the war, checks make for the army. Good for bombs and traps. In Vietnam? Yes. Many American people die by same tactics. Now, UDI used to kill my daughter. That's ironic. I've read your history. We both know about war. We've both tried to put it behind us. You and me, we're alike. <coughs> we are nothing alike. You're nothing. You kill oh. women and children. Names! To a mighty god, I don't know. Wait, wait. I've set a trap for them when they use the next bomb. When they claim responsibility for the next bombing, they'll use a code word. Telling the police they're UDI, I've changed that code word. So when they use it, they'll know. You have one day. What if they don't set off a bomb by then? 24 hours. We missed it the first time, but ran a reconfiguration through Raptor and the images, anomalies, and architecture became more apparent. Now there, look, the back of his hand. Mm -hmm. It looks like a burn or a birthmark. We're running comparatives now. It's, it's a bit more time, but we'll get it. Sean, thanks for coming. Are you all right? Oh, well, I've been better. Yeah. There's been another bombing. Yeah, I just heard. Hey, a London bus. Has Bromley phoned? No, not yet. McGrath's on his way with some locals. They'll give you a hand. No, I don't need them. I'll handle it. Good man. with the Britain, no more code words. He knew exactly which bus and how much explosive was used. And it's been ID'd as your Semtex again. Either someone talked, warn them off, or you're playing me. Only two people knew what was happening. Myself and Morrison. Like I said, one of you can't be trusted. Send me a number where I can reach you day or night. I'll call the moment I have something. It better be soon, or you'll feel a backlash the likes of which you've never felt before.
boss now. For God's sake, 16 dead, twice that injured. I'm sorry. I had a plan to nail the bastards. It didn't work. I've just come from Downing Street. The PM will consider the pardons, but only if you give up the bombers immediately. And how in God's name do I do that? Find a way. Plans are afoot to put the paratroops back on your streets in 48 hours. Belfast will erupt. You'll give the bombers exactly what they want. Well, that's out of my hands now. Call when you have something. I'm heading for a conference in Rome tomorrow. I'll have my son at all times. said to keep an eye on her and make sure she and Carrie were kept safe. I'll spend some time in her hotel lobby watching the comings and goings, you know. She had no idea I was there. And your nephew turns up. He spent two hours in her room. He spent two hours in Mary's room. Aye. And after he goes, Mary comes down and calls Hugh McGrath on the lobby phone. They take it apart. There's no way to know it's been modified. Fucking brilliant. What'll set it off? The internal clock. I'll input the time once we know the flight. There's a security conference in Rome tomorrow. All the top MPs and security people are flying there on three lunchtime flights. Perfect. What about our mule? Tara just confirmed he's going. We then ran the burn mark through the database. We got a positive hit on a Patrick O'Reilly, age 29, from Belfast. O'Reilly had one prior for a domestic abuse incident three years back, did two months in Hyde Bank. We entered O'Reilly into the facial rec bank for matches. We got a hit. That's him in a Dublin pub with a UDI member four weeks ago. It's a known UDI meeting place we've had under surveillance for years. And the other two with him? I was about to get to the minister. That and a woman we've just ID'd at the bus explosion. Your mole's Hugh McGraw. Can you hear me, anything? Are you sure now? Quite. We've ID'd the Knightsbridge bomber as Patrick O'Reilly of Belfast. Three weeks ago, Mr. O'Reilly was observed meeting Hugh McGraw in a Dublin pub. Where's McGraw and O'Reilly now? I don't know, really. I haven't seen McGraw. Let me help you with McGraw. His phone's GPS puts him 52 meters south of you. I'm watching him coming up your drive. So let's cut the shit. There's a Chinook airborne right now with a 12-man team. They'll land on your farm in 30 minutes to take McGrath into custody. I needn't tell you how that'll go, now how your cozy relationship with him will sink your career. This time for good. Huh? Question McGrath your way and get what I need. Names and locations of everyone. You can't save him, but maybe you can save yourself. 30 minutes, get what I need, I'll turn them around. Jim. Send McGraw's men to the trailhead. See if Sean needs any help. Give me your phone. What the hell? Give me your phone. Get your ass in that chair. A London bus for Christ's sake. No, hold, hold on. You have fucking warnings. 16 dead. You stabbed me in the back and sanctioned this bloodbath to get your war back on. The plan had no balls. 
This wasn't a bombing light campaign. You said hurt him and hurt him, we did. By killing women and children? You can't restrain yourself. You never could. Well, it's over. Their names, aliases, and location. You know I can't do that. Ah! That's me being nice. Ah! Now, right? And it better match what I already ah! know. By God, I'll take you apart joint by joint. You use me. You wanted the pardons for your own political gain. You're a disgrace to the cause. Four men and a woman. Maggie Don. Aye. You call her that. Sarah Mackay's her real name. She works for you. Bloody right. Checks and balances. Ah! 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 An insurance policy. In case you lose your nerve, which you have. So now, if they take the lads, she will lead them straight back to you. Not so easy anymore now, is it? So 15 will be here in 20 minutes to take you in. We both know that can't happen. You gave me up to the brutes. You tuckled bastard. You gave yourself up. They've got surveillance of you in a pub with a Pat O'Reilly, who they ID'd as the Knightsbridge bomber. And thanks to your GPS phone, they tracked you here. You broke every rule, Huey. Now I'm left to clean up your mess as I have for the past 30 years. The final thing. My wife. What about her? you because of her brother and so she reached out to me so yes I helped her and she helped me Did you come? Uh, I'm not a three-second wonder like you.
Are you still alive? You want the names? They're in the phone. Last text, code 7741. Five names and their location in London. O'Reilly set the bomb that killed your daughter. He's got a burn mark on his right hand. You fought in the army? Iraq. Royal Irish Regiment. Two tours, special forces. You're Catholic, but you fought for British. Why? I fought for the regiment. Out there, religion didn't matter. We were all the same. That's it. Family? My brother. The rest have passed away. Take a seat, Sean. Hey, you look like you've been through the wars. Hey. The corn got the drop on me. I gave him the names, he took my things and let me go. When the bombers called in about the bus, they didn't use a code word because someone tipped them off. Only two people knew the reason for the code change. You and me. No, Liam, I didn't tell anyone, I swear. I spoke to Bromley, and that was it. What if I told you I had Murphy stay and watch Mary in London? My own flesh and blood. 
Liam, I'm so I sorry. I want to know what happened in that room. All I want to know is, what was discussed when your sweet Aunt Mary was with you? Did she say she was involved with McGraw and the bombers? No, never. She was upset about her brother and kept on about that. When you and I were talking about the code words, she asked about them, but she never let on about McGrath. Oh, so she could hear us on the phone. No, it was only after our call she mentioned the code words. She thought they wouldn't be of use. So she steered the conversation? Well, yeah, I guess she did. Uh, a good manipulator she is. So she told the bombers? She told McGrath, McGrath told them. Thick as thieves they were. She tricked the information out of you, Sean. She used you. Let me Shut up! <sighs> Bury that pig on the cell pan. After that, I have one final task for you. And when that's done, go back to New York, son. Zero, this is Alpha 2. Echo 1 toward target house. Zero, Echo 1 is toward the target house. Copy. Echo 1 has entered the target house and unsighted to me. Zero, Echo 1 is in target house and unsighted to you. Copy. Don't cross, fella. Sierra call signs. Confirm when Echo 1 is complete in target house. Sierra 2, roger that. Sierra 3, roger that. X-ray one on balcony. Echo one approaching front door. Hi, Nico. It's done. X-ray 1 and Echo 1 have left the room. All of the X-rays remain. Zero, this is Alpha 2. One unknown Echo and two children entering the target house. Roger that. Complete in the living room. All call signs move to your final rendezvous. Echo complete in living room. We've lost visual. Echo one has closed the blinds. 
You have control. Roger that. I have control. Stand by. Stand by. Stop, stop, stop! Wait! Sierra call signs. Report what's going on. I have two unknowns at the front door. Wait. Yeah? Sorry for the bother, but there's a gas leak in the building and the gas man needs entry for an inspection. Our gas works fine. There's no problem. He needs to inspect all the flats regardless. It won't take a moment. And it is an emergency. It's quite important, Mr. Upton. By law, I'm allowed to use my own key. Yeah. All right. Just a second. Come down when you're done and I'll take you to the next flat. Thank you. I will be very fast. This way. Can I see the boiler, please? Would you mind putting your bag on the table? <sighs> Open it up. Close, no time to land. Uh, 
plane? Which plane? <laughs> Which plane? Open her shirt. <laughs> This is how it works. I ask questions. You answer. That's right. Flight 136 to Rome. Passenger name Ian Wood. Bombs in his laptop. Set to go after that, 3 p.m. exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, please be advised. Flight 136 to Rome has been further delayed. We apologize for the inconvenience. What's going on? What's going on? They're looking for someone named Ian Wood. That's me. I'm Ian Wood. Ian Wood! I'm Ian Wood. Is that your laptop? Yeah. Move! 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 Get out! 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 He said he was a Chinaman. Affirmative. About 60 years old. Just got word the device is neutralized. Good work. Fox Hunt is now terminated. No loose ends. Understood. <laughs> it's Bromley. I need an AP out to all city district units from Whopping High Street to the A1203. Suspect's an Asian male, 61 years of age, 5 feet, 8 inches, 11 stone. His name's Ngoc Ming Kwan. He's armed and has US Special Forces training. Use extreme caution. It was on the flight they targeted to blow up. Because of your timely information, we stopped it. I wanted to thank you personally. Thank God you're OK. The bombers were neutralized, even Sarah Mackay, whom you called Maggie. She gave a report of the bomb that was to have been put on my flight. She also carried out the bus carnage and is directly connected to you and McGrath. We have call pens going to and from her off the cell towers by your farm and townhomes. That's 250 precision locations and activations consistent with your mutual activities. Catherine. I've spoken to the PM. He's agreed to keep you in office for now. I'm issuing pardons for five on the runs. One is your cousin, but make no mistake, Deputy First Minister, you are ours now. I say jump, you say where. You're on the next flight back to London. Tomorrow you'll brief SO15 and myself on everything you know.
did you find me? I gave you the names, like I said. This woman, she's a bomber. You lie. You plan everything. For whatever it's worth, I never intended to hurt your daughter or any of those people. Send. Do it. Now on the internet, you and your mistress. The whole world we know you are a terrorist. Goodbye, Mr. Hennessy. It's Landersman, sir, an S11. I've got him. He's returned. The happy peacock takeaway. Do we shoot to kill? <sighs> yes, sir. I believe we owe this chap something. This Chinese man won't give up. Keep back for now. No point in waking the dragon. Yes, sir. Kaipanu 痛如切腹
，谁丈量内心的宽度？若战争不分胜负，我们何不在这里结束？聪明心刻骨，怎会道痛如切肤？看这世界到底有多残酷，放开的双手变成两个世界的路，往前的每一步，每一步，每一步，为什么都没有回头路？暴雨狂风，内心暗潮汹涌，流泪让伤变得更。始终止不住痛。